Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Jay's Beer Review. I'm on like day 12 of my wedding and honeymoon. Uh, I did attempt to get another review done and it was the Oak Arrogant Bastard Ale on tap and it was fantastic. Unfortunately, passing around the camera so many times it ended up getting erased. So I am doing uh, probably the only review I'm going to capture the whole time, just mainly because we've been so busy and then uh, enjoying time with one another, me and my wife. So while I'm here at Discovery Cove in Orlando, Florida, uh, we already swam with dolphins, stingrays, swam with stingrays, uh, snorkeled in a lagoon, and went to a bird aviary. Now it's time for us just to sit back and relax and drink some beers. And if you look over there, you can see a nice waterfall type lagoon area. like a lagoon area where we're just kind of hanging out for the rest of the day until it's time to leave. So, since I'm drinking some beer, I figured why not do a beer review. And, because Discovery Cove is owned by Anheuser-Busch, which is now InBev, uh, we only have Anheuser-Busch products available, and so the beer that I'm going to review today is Bud Light Lime. Now, I'm not expecting too much, but it's free beer, so we'll feel what we can. Um, it is 4.2% alcohol by volume, and basically it's a light beer with 100% nat natural lime flavor. I do got a plastic cup that we can pour this into, and this is one of those aluminum cans, so it keeps it colder longer, which is kind of like a, a marketing gimmick that actually is not bad. It's one of their better marketing gimmicks. Here we go. Now, I haven't had done a proper review of Bud Light or Bud, because I'm not a fan of them. But, uh, we're going to do this one, so... Alright. As you can see here, we have a kind of yellow, golden color. It is slightly hazy, or maybe that's just condensation. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's just condensation. Extremely carbonated with about a pinky-length head that looks like it's fizzing out quickly, and it's not very thick. Uh, based on the way it looks, it doesn't look anything great, but that carbonation is flowing like non-stop. Go ahead and give it a smell. Interesting, I do smell a lot of lime in it. Almost like how a margarita would smell. Alright, well let's go ahead and give it a try. I do get the lime immediately. Um, because it's like a light beer, it is kind of refreshing on a hot day like this. Um, and because the lime that they use in it, it kind of gets rid of the skunkiness or the graininess of what a typical Bud Light or Budweiser is. So I would say it's probably better than Bud Light or even Budweiser because it doesn't have that grainy or skunky taste. But it may be because of the lime that they add which I'm not even really sure why they did that. I think maybe they're trying to copy maybe Corona or something, but let's give it another sip. Yeah, you definitely get a heavy dose of lime going on there. Maybe, I would even say it has like a margarita taste to it, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and drink some more of this and uh, get back to you in a few moments. Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, I have just a little bit of beer here left. Um, you know, for Budweiser, it's not terrible. I think the lime just really takes away any of the graininess or skunkiness that you get from your traditional Bud Light. So it makes it a little bit more drinkable. The problem is I don't know if that would wear off after, say, more than one or two. And maybe it starts getting to you after that. Uh, but it's, surprise, surprise, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It is drinkable. And the only negative I can say against it uh, is it gives me like a... Because it's so carbonated, it made me feel real bloated after just one of them. So, um, I would say, you know, it's better than I thought, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, drink the rest of this and give you my final thoughts and videos. Anyway, as you can see, I, I finished it. So, traditionally Budweiser would get like a, a bad green or um, a low average. I'm going to call this... Uh, 
almost, I would say slightly below average. It's, it's not an average beer, but it's not undrinkable, surprisingly. Um, I'm really surprised I'm even giving it as good of a grade as I, as I am. I don't know if it's the setting or what the case may be, but I didn't, I didn't completely hate it. Maybe if I had two or three, maybe I would hate it by then, but just one of them, I was able to get down really without a problem. Uh, maybe it's gimmicky, but um, it did take the line, did take away the graininess and the, uh, the skunkiness. So again, that was a Bud Light line. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.